I see you're at, you know. So this is the first time running on 6S and definitely got some power to it. Wheelies are pretty much uh, constant. Oh! And Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And uh, we're taking another look at our Losi LST XXL2E today. Uh, we actually just took it out for the first time on 6S and with all the bugs um, ironed out or most of them ironed out. Uh, you can see here actually <laughs> looks like the body uh, pins here just got torn through the body and um, this is definitely a, a monster truck of monster trucks here. Uh, it does have a pretty high center of gravity compared to other you know buggy truggy based monster trucks which uh, you, you know, usually this plane would be the bottom of the chassis, but um, you know it's got a multi-plate chassis here, uh, and the batteries, the motor, they're pretty high up, so that results in a in a fairly high center of gravity, uh, which was evident when we were driving the truck. It it, uh, it definitely um, wheelies and and flips over very easily, uh, which is a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong, but um, you know definitely not uh, a sharp handling truck like. Uh, your your arm at Creighton or uh, you know other uh, other truggy based um, trucks you know like like the MT4 G3 that we have the arm at Creighton again um, any sort of those those flat pan uh, truggy based trucks uh, will definitely outhandle this but this is one burly beast and a hoot to drive so um, you know two three S packs in here uh, running running series for six S so uh, you know twenty four plus nominal volts, you know, 25 volts um, when it's fully charged and, you know, just, just an absolute beast on 6S. So, um, yeah, we're just uh, doing a, a little post-run analysis. You can see it's it's nice and dirty. Um, actually saw somebody who made an underplate to, to cover up these open gaps uh, under the chassis to, to keep stuff out of the servos and whatnot. Um, you know, it is fully waterproof, but you know, sand, grit, moisture uh, never helps the longevity of components. So, um, you know, anything you could do to shield the um, the vehicle away from it. Uh, you know, just touching the the motor. Uh, you know, it's 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 a little bit warm to the touch. We're probably okay there in terms of temps. The ESC is cool. This is uh, this is actually uh, a you know it's a it's a Horizon labeled. Fuse ESC, but it's actually, uh, you know, a, a relabeled uh, Mamba Monster, so capable of two to six S. Uh, you know, some people see that this is a little bit undersized for the the truck. We might try something a little bit beefier, but it does handle two to six S. So, uh, and it, it seemed to handle it pretty well today. Um, this this is our first, uh, you know, Castle ESC. We we had a. Um, uh, we had uh, one of the short course ones, but it it uh, it was actually uh, it actually burned out. Uh, but um, yeah, looking forward to to getting more video, more running video of this, uh, putting it through its its paces here, uh, and letting you guys know what uh, you know what works, what doesn't work. The the pro line uh, trenchers that we have on here. Or, uh, so, sorry, not the trenchers. These are um, these are the 40 series mashers. Uh, performed excellently uh, yeah thanks again for watching um, let us know what you guys think in the comments please like comment subscribe and we'll catch you next time thanks again for watching